Hello friends, welcome to this edition of Crack the Vault, hosted by Poet Spice. This is the February edition. It's all things Valentine, people. And um, I am coming on with a bunch of other beautiful, talented ladies who are listed in the description box below to share with you uh, things that we have pulled out of, our, out of our stash that we have not used at all or in six months or more. And so I am going to um, get this moving. Now, um, hopefully you'll get a, you will, you, I'm going to say you're probably not going to get a Crack the Vault collab video for me in March. I apologize in advance for that. I'm going to have surgery uh, on my rotator cuff in a couple of weeks and um, I'm going to be out of commission. So, you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to have one arm. I'm not, the, the craft room is going dark. <laughs> I'm so sad about that, y'all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to go crazy. But anyway, um, so let me show you what I use for this month's collab. And let me show you what I did. I'm so proud of myself because this die has been in my stash for a minute. And I played with it one time and got frustrated and put it back and decided to pull it out again. And I'm glad I did because now I love it. I want to make all the things. So this is the Vanity Case die set from Simply Made Crafts. It is so adorable. But it but it seemed hard to make. Like I made it the first time. It didn't quite come out right. It didn't quite come out the way I wanted it to, uh, let's say. And so um, I got um, frustrated, like I said, and put it back. And then there's a little extra strip that you need for this die that you can just cut out of paper that she gives you in the in the tutorial to put it together uh and so you need this measurement to put that together and i'll show you as we go through the projects because i made two i was so happy um and so i used that i used also um two different um papers papers for this uh the first paper i used is miss kate's love letters paper sticker kit now i ordered this kit in december and um like the very first part of december and it never came so i emailed them and they tracked it and apparently got lost somewhere in georgia <laughs> at a post office and so they resent it and it came like lickety split so i was really happy but it came too late really for me to do a whole lot of thanksgiving crafting so i'll just hold on to it thanksgiving valentine's day crafting so i'll just hold on to it for next year but it's a very pretty pack very pretty paper and then i also used a sheet out of this hello valentine from recollections paper that everybody's been hauling i'm not going to go through it because you probably already have seen it i just do a quick quick flip uh and i basically got it for uh these pretty plastic sheets in here let's see these because i could use those any time of year um so those are the two paper pads I used. I also used the Ephemera from this. Um, and I, these little pockets I got from scrapbook.com. I love these things. I'm going to be getting some more of them. Um, and I used the Ephemera from that as well. And then I used some uh, crafts, some uh, hardware uh, from... Is it Tim Holtz hardware? I can't remember now because I used it all. But it's been in my stash for, I don't know, forever. And I pulled it out and used it. So I'm going to show you what I made. So first I'm going to show you my, like the very first one I did, coming back prototype type deal. Look at that. And so now the mistake I made on this one is that the decoration is on the bottom <laughs> and not the top. But that's okay. Look how cute that is. Look how cute it came out. I used um, the wood piece from Hobby Lobby that I picked up. These little stickers were in my, have been in my stash. This I made in a video, I think, last Valentine's Day. And I just held on to them. I made a bunch of these and just held on to them. And then I tied one onto here, which turned out so super cute. This bling came from Hobby Lobby. Um, and then this little claps thing i i got uh it's been in my stash i don't even know where i got it from but it's super cute you just do this and then you open it up and look at that 
On the inside, there's dividers, which confused me in the initial, my first time doing it. I didn't know what these were, but they're dividers. And so you can divide it up like a little, like a little train case and put your goodies in it. So I'm going to fill it with goodies. And then this little lip here is what I'm talking about. This is, there's no die for this lip. And you kind of need this lip to make the box come over and class correctly. And so she goes through that. Um, in the video, I, I'll check simply, I'll check Craft Stash or check Craft Stash or um, Paper Wishes and see if they still have this die. Because like I said, it's a couple years old, um, but um, you need that lip. So it is super, super cute. And then I just, so that was the first one I did. Came out okay. Like I said, a couple of mistakes. This is the uh, Valentine paper from Recollections. Uh, the, the, that paper pad that came out of there. Super cute. So the second one I made came out so much cute. Oops, so much cuter. Look at that. So this is the Kate, uh, Miss Cuddle, Miss Kate, um, paper. And I didn't like the color, like this color. I wish I had thought of it when I was making this box, but I didn't. And after the box was finished, I was like, oh, I wish that was black or something. But... I got smart in the second one, and I pulled out this stuff. This has also been in my stash six months or longer, probably. This is Foundry Wax from Tim Holtz, and this stuff is magic, y'all. I've used it before on charms, um, and basically, I have four colors. This sterling, a bronze, a gold, and another color. Copper, maybe? And what it does is you paint it on with a dry brush... You, I just painted it on with the dry brush here, and then I use my heating gun, my heat tool, to heat it. And the heat basically acts as a sealant for the paint, and it just changes the color of whatever you're... Um, I'm sure there's something far more scientific than that, but that's basically what it does. Um, it changes the color of whatever metal object you're use, you're, you're um, trying to... You can use it on all kind of stuff, but I bought it for metal. Um, so it changes the color. So I changed it to silver, which I think is so so much prettier on here. And then these little charms I picked up from um, Amazon. Um, and I made this little uh, chain of charms here to go on the edge of the, um, the top of the case. And I put the handle on top this time. And I used some of the ephemera pieces from that Recollections paper to decorate it. And then you open this up again, and I use craft paper this time. And I just decorated the inside of the, the lid, because I thought that was pretty, and I'm just going to fill it with shred and goodies and stuff. So isn't that cute? These are so cute. Both of these are really super cute. I'm so happy with them both. So let me know what you think in the description box below. These are super cute. Uh, please go check out the other ladies participating in the collab. Um, again, they will be listed in the description box below as well. I hope everyone is doing well. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Please consider, um, staying a while and, um, joining my channel by subscribing. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. You know how much I love you. I will talk to you guys in the next crafty video. Bye now.